Welcome back to Let's Play Viva Pinata. So, we're gonna rather. It, yes, thank you, Langston. Oh, I can sell all these. I have all this candy to myself. Oh, that's probably not all the candy because that wasn't very, very valuable pinata. I don't know if you get more or less candy back depending on how valuable the pinata is that you send to Pinata Central. But in any case. What I could do is actually pull up all this grass. Or might just leave it as it is. So you have the grass around it. Because it looks kind of natural the way it, the grass is right now. Maybe. But I will, I guess, at the very least. We can wait. If nothing else, we can get all this cracked earth turned into dirt. While waiting for Willy. So this place will mostly have piñatas that would live in more like drier or mountainous climates, things like that. And more rocky places. That's kind of the idea here. So this is probably where I'll have eagle ears, for instance. I'll have to look at what buzzinges need to appear and to actually become residents. I'll probably have some others here as well, though, like red hots, I think. I will, to prevent this from looking too plain, due to just being a bunch of dirt, though, I will probably put down some decorative rocks and whatnot. There's some nice glowing rocks you can have. I will, at least temporarily, also need to have firebrands, so I can make red hots here. It also means I'll have to temporarily have flowers here so I can start tracking taflies. And then I'll turn those taflies into red hots and I can start bringing red hots. Oh, that didn't take too long, actually. I wasn't looking at how long the time limit was. Or the timer. But... Regardless. So we can unveil this thing. And this mine is not going to do much on its own. Oh, this will also be where we have canned dairies, in particular domesticated pinata. But we'll talk about why later. Oh, I think canned dairies are actually how I get buzzinges to appear for Ember, right? Don't hold your Ember. But we're not worried about that right now. Because I just wanted to get this set up for the time being. I don't really care about that mammal right now. There are also some other decorative decorative things we're going to want to get here, too. Because there are things that... What's this? Mean? There are things that Ivor will sell you that actually augment, so to speak, these mines. I'm, I'm sure you'd be interested in this crate. That you're basically just indirectly buying from whatever her name is. Just looking at that world, just checking them out. Whatever. We're down here for, for the time being. I just wanted to, while we had the money for it, put down that mine. Since it's such a massive investment. I think it's the biggest single investment you can make in this game. Anyways, back to the farm. It's been a while. The farm that's been operating at a massive loss this whole time. I don't know how much of a loss it's actually been. Since I we never like wouldn't have dead or anything, but anyways, oh, fast cursor. There we go. So we have do we have one or two cats? I think we only have one. Penelope. We need mouse mellows. So that just means we need turnips. It's fine. Just plant some turnips. I don't know why I hadn't done that already. We could also breed mouse mellows here actually of all places. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Just plant a bunch of turnips. And we had that massive amount of money for such a short period of time, but we did spend it on something pretty worthwhile. We'll see why mines are such a big deal later. It's actually a really good idea if you can to get mines pretty early in the game, because they can result in some very interesting things. That I'll probably talk about once we actually get mines running. But we need to worry about a few more things before then. Okay. So let those grow. We're working on that. Do we have... So we only have one mount... One... 
Kitty Flosser, I believe. Just Penelope? Just Penelope, I believe. I gave Penelope a name that didn't start with K for some reason. Could have been like Catherine with a K. Anyways. So we have some pinatas to buy. A decent number actually. Yeah, come in. I should be at a party. So we're gonna right have raspberries, it actually cost that much. Yeah. At least from the perspective that we're at that we have now. Say hello to your friend. Okay, so we also need a ball, another ball of wool and another bottle of milk. This is a good place to be for a kitty floss because we can actually produce these things ourselves. And a mouse mellow. Mouse mellows are gonna come. So we have produced mouse mellows ourselves. I mean, produced turnips for mouse mellows to come eat. So we'll just have to wait on that. On top of that, we have. Honey being made on its own. I want. I don't know if you can actually transfer pinatas from one. I don't know if you can transfer pinatas to yourself because it wouldn't be a bad idea. In all seriousness, to get a fizzly bear here because we have honey, that's gonna be a good deal of money. And send that. I'm curious. I don't think the post office, ex post office explains to you here how it works. Because I don't know if I've ever actually fully explained this. I think I at least hinted at it. The original idea of post office is. I'll sell this for now at least because we have an unlimited supply of this stuff. The idea behind the post office is also have I bred these guys? I need mean, oh I need a long grass which I haven't. I see. You can get work, working on that while I talk. Because the thing is, what it's really made for is Xbox Live. For sharing pinatas with other people. You can send your pinatas to other players. And that's why whenever you look at your pinatas, that's why you have this label that you can make. No. Go away. You do not belong on a farm. those actually identify the person who originated the piñata, so to speak. Which, if you got the piñata from somebody on Xbox Live, it would be that person. I need to name this kitty floss. Whoops. So that's the main intention. There is... If I remember right, also the possibility of transferring between gardens though using the mail system. I just never used it. There is, I probably shouldn't say too much about this, there is one special pinata that you can transfer between gardens in another special way, but it's actually not through the mail system. That's the only way of transferring pinatas between gardens I'm familiar with. Um, do I know any male names other than starting with P other than Patrick? I think Primrose is a male name. Right? I thought it was Penelope? Yeah. So I'm assuming this is not enough long grass in the slightest. I need a lot of long grass, actually. I'm basically gonna want to make most of my current space long grass. Not most, but a significant, significant portion of the space that isn't actually, isn't just dirt. I'm gonna want to make long grass for these guys to be able to breed. Which I guess it makes sense. These guys need to be able to graze, which they haven't been able to do. So we'll just do this as we wait for our turnip eaters to show up, which should happen at some point. 
I have a third buzzer gun for some reason. That means it means more produce or whatever. Checking the wings. Pre-flight checks are nothing to scoff at. And a lot of grass though, so let's look real quick how much grass I have. It's not a lot, I know that. I actually do have a lot. I had more than I thought. This is 10 by 10, right? Yeah, okay. I actually don't need as much as I thought. I just remember when I was trying to put down water for those lacatodes, I needed a ton of water. It also takes forever to to put down that water, though, to dig all the water up. However that works, water just appears when you dig. I guess the water table is really high here on Pinata Island. I mean, you're on an island, I guess. You do not belong here. You're a fox. This is not a place for a fox. Awesome. So now I just need a house. What should you have space for right here? Willie! We can get breeding these guys really quickly, actually. Awesome. And then you can start working about other pinatas as well. We have rash berries, which are pigs. And we also have stuff going on with these key losses. There's at least one more domesticated pinata, too, other than rash berries I want to have here. In part, just because I don't know where else to put them. But we'll worry about that later. Have I bred these guys? Yeah, I have, cause, probably, because they have a house. But they're both ready to romance, and haven't romanced, it seems. I can look real quick. This encyclopedia is the best thing. Okay, Gooba, where are you? Goobas are a high level than I thought. Six. I am not! Why haven't I romanced these guys? They're both ready to romance. Excuse me? If I remember right, one of the total lies that Leap Boss will tell you is that Goobas will not romance if they don't have their fleece. If they don't have their coat, if they've been sheared. Which is totally untrue, as you can see here. I didn't realize I hadn't read these guys, though. It's kind of weird. Also, is nobody making milk? I need milk, guys. Oh my god, it's, it's such an easy... So I guess we have invisible logo, strictly speaking. Wonderful, though. Very easy. Oh, you can actually see their, um... What they're wearing. You see their... Accessories, although they suddenly had fleece. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys next time, next episode, when we see the dance. Oh, what are you doing, Buzzle Gun? You're okay. Okay. Hey, guys. Zoom.